This is getting real. Bingo. Well, that was a weird animation. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Nails and hair. I didn't know he was this disturbed. At least not back when he was out killing freely. This isn't uncommon for serial killers. Wait. What's this? My high school graduation ring? What is this doing? Oh. Scotty's bracelet. I wondered where this had gone. He took a lot from both... from a lot of people. Did you know da Did you know Davy's family? What do you care? You murdered her. My rapport with her is going down. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Hello everyone, welcome back to Cognition and Erica Reed Thriller Episode 4, The Cane Killer. God, that is a long title, isn't it? Okay, so yes, the, um... I don't know if I can demonstrate it. I, I don't think I can go back to it. But the way to solve that puzzle was, well, incredibly stupid. Let's just leave it at that. Or should I explain it? No, I'm not going to explain it. It, it was really dumb. Anyway, okay. So these are the missing pieces, and here's some more stuff that I can probably use to figure out which piece goes where. Alright, I guess let's just pick all this up. Oh god, a tooth? Oh. Alright. Unless I could demonstrate it, can I go back to the controls? Not as long as it's filled with spikes. No, okay. Alright, fine. We'll just leave it where it is. Alright, let's take a look at what we have now. So all this stuff is new. God, that is really disgusting. A golden tooth. Graduation ring? That's my graduation ring. My high school graduation ring. I thought I'd lost it. He'd been watching me for longer than I realized. Maybe if I hadn't been so obsessively focused on chasing him down, I would have noticed. Bracelet. That's Scotty's, right? It's Scotty's. He would never take it off. This looks like it could have been Janelle Longinus's. Typical serial murder M.O. He likes to collect trophies from his victims. Hmm. There was a victim that... Yes, this must be Joe Hollowell's. He was missing a gold tooth. He went from hair to teeth. He didn't have a fascination for anything specific, but he's still a man of habit. Went from hair to teeth, and here's hair, and here's a tooth. Oh, God, fingernails. Fuck, I didn't realize I picked that up. Oh. Normally, a serial killer will take the same type of trophy from all his victims. But it seems like Keith had different interests. A golden bracelet. The inscription reads, S.G. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna have a lot of detective work to do here soon, but let's just keep looking at these for now. It's a golden watch. There's an inscription on the back. To Matthew. That's Matthew George. The George siblings. He and Selim died a horrible death. Alright, so I think I'm gonna need to match these, maybe using my cognition powers. Yeah. To get a picture of what happened. Okay. Like, what if I do... No, I guess I could just randomly do it. Figure out which one connects to what. I'm probably gonna do this off camera, but for now, let's stick with this and see what happens. Okay. Hair and fingernails. What's this going to give me? Blood buys him time. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna have to put those together and figure out which one is which based on the information from that. Okay, so this is gonna take some time, so I'm gonna cut and when I come back, I will probably have figured out where to put everything.
Okay, well, I think I've discovered all the combinations, and there are only two pieces left undone, which means if I've done everything else correctly, then the last two should fit in there and it should finish it. But, there's one additional interesting thing that I have not done yet. I've looked at every combination of these for all of the victims, however, there's one that has nothing to do with this exactly. Or, well, I guess it does, but I just already knew the answer, so I didn't need to do it. Um, let's look at the one for my graduation ring and Scotty's bracelet. Let's see what this shows us. I guess it'll just be our, you know, what happened to us. Which I don't need to know because I already, you know, knew everything that was used. But, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, so you can just use that if you happen to have forgotten exactly what happened back then. Alright, well. Let's shove them in and hope I got it right. Okay, come on. Last piece. Ah. More? Is that still sure you were the one in control? Huh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she was in control. What the hell? Why's there a figurine of her? Consider this. There is a Max figurine. It's in a place only Cordelia would know. Anything? He talked to me. He says the next one is Max's, and that only you would know where it is. Damn you, Keith. Can you give me one thing straight? Let's look around to see if my memory triggers. Alright, trigger her memory. Well, there's nothing in this room. What if she looks at the figurine? Nope. Alright, a place only Cordelia would know. Hmm. Wait a minute, can we even leave? No. Alright, if it's not in the basement and it's not in here, then is it in the bathroom? I don't want to go in there. It brings up memories I'd rather forget. I kind of need your memories, Cordelia. It's kind of the point of what we're doing. Hmm. I wonder if this is at all tied to the stuff I have in my inventory. I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. A razor blade. A magnifying glass. Hmm. Uh, I can't combine any of that stuff to get any visions, other than the stuff I already did. Why don't I give... Cordelia a cup of water? Oh, I can't even do that. <sighs> do you have any ideas, Cordelia? Let me look around. I'm sure that could trigger some memories. Alright, let's just examine stuff. No, I'd burn my hand. Max would spend hours there. Maybe this is what Keith meant. This was Max's favorite place in the house. Now we need to put out the fire to search through it. Ah, okay, gotcha. That's what the cup of water's for. This should help. Now let's look. I found Max, I think. You can keep it. I thought you liked his games. I never did. That was the problem. Alright, well aren't there three slots? So what goes in the others? I don't think this is the end of it. And you know what? The interesting thing is that the slots are irregularly placed. You have two groups of two. So you have one group that, well, one that will be next to Cordelia, and then another group that is apart. Any particular reason for that? I would think Max would be with Cordelia, right? Wait, what? It goes there? Okay. 
Max, Cordelia's brother. Oh my god, look at how detailed that figurine is. It looks all... Max, Ugh. Cordelia's brother. Okay, can I choose where to put it? I can pick it back up. It won't come out. Alright, so that one's fixed. No, you can't choose where to put it. Hmm. Whoops. Oh, do I need both? Yeah, okay. Whoops. <laughs> I'm messing everything up. There we go. Wait, what? One. Two. Oh, I guess I need more. To get the full picture, okay. Hmm. Nothing. I need more figurines, right? I mean, two just isn't enough. Select three of them. Yes, yeah, so you need three. Okay, I mean, I don't have any figurines on me, right? Do you have any ideas, Cordelia? Let me look around. I'm sure that could trigger some memories. Well, we already did that. Is there more that I can find? I feel like I'm missing something, um, but let's just take a look around for now. The first time I saw them, I panicked, remembering what he put Max and me through. I mean, I thought it was only supposed to find Max's figurine, which I've now done, but it didn't seem to do anything. The first time I saw them, I panicked, remembering... Probably still doesn't want to go into the bathroom. That's where he was when I captured him. I don't want to go in... Nope. Take a look at these photos. Oh, maybe she would know who that is. Daddy, with Senator Aaron Light. Aaron Light, okay. We were happy. Actually, wait a minute. Can she... Nope. Alright, fireplace, mantle, bathroom, but yeah, I mean, there's nothing else. Hmm... But I can use something on the table center? Think, Erica, think. I don't have anything to use, right? I mean, I can't pick these back up, can I? Those two don't. No. And I can't put it in a different slot. No. Am I missing something super obvious? I didn't think it would. What am I missing? What the hell am I missing? There's very little with which to interact with in this scene, so there's very little I could actually be missing, but I'm somehow missing something. Uh, I'm gonna cut to when I figure out what the heck to do. Oh, wait, what? I can use a magnifying glass on the Max figurine? It says, find a light in the darkness. Any ideas? No, but I can look around and see if I remember anything. Find a light in the darkness? Light in the darkness. Oh, 
light in the darkness. Hmm. Daddy with Senator Aaron Light. <laughs> Aaron Light, a light in the darkness. That's Daddy. Things would be so different if he was still around. He's with Senator Aaron Light. Good man. She had a niece. Davies did. She loved her to pieces. When she was around, you could almost see Davies smile. Maybe she wasn't perfect, but she didn't deserve what you did to her. Even if she didn't help you when she could have, even if you went to prison. Maybe she didn't deserve her rank, but everyone deserves to live. Daddy would have said that. He liked people that did good. He said the Senator's last name was not a coincidence. Wait. Aaron Light. A light. Look for a light. Keith, you tricky little... Erica, look at this. Did he hide it there? Only one way to find out. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, switch to Erica and let's cut that out. Here, let me take a look. Ugh. I'd be very eager to kill him if I were you. My job is justice, not revenge. I'm not like you. We'll see. When the two of you are face to face. Oh yeah, we'll see. We'll see all right. Kane's figurine of me. Fucking creepy. Yes it is. All right, can I All right, can I look at that one? No. All right. So, well, actually I don't need 4. I don't need 4 to use my powers. I only need 3, so this should be enough for now. But why is there a fourth slot? That can't be a coincidence. I mean, that's not just... I don't think there's happens to be four slots. Obviously, there's something that's meant to go in it. Maybe it's Keith that goes in the fourth slot? I don't know. Alright, so where do I go? There's one missing. This must be who we're looking for. Knowing Keith, we're not going to find it easily. We'll need to figure this one out. Yep. There's one missing. This must be... Alright, let's use my powers and see what I can see. Who the hell is that? What the fuck? Dad! No. No! You knew about this! No, but I know where they are now. I just saw it. Shit. They must have followed me. Not so fast. You need to get me out of here. I can leave through the back, but you have to help me. Oh, shit. Go! You'll need this. Bring McAdams to Mount Auburn Cemetery. Where Scott died? We'll save your dad. He's one of the good guys. What were you doing back there? That doesn't matter. You have to listen to me. If you are not going to answer my questions, save it for your attorney, Reed. Am I crazy or, or are we driving at like 200 miles per hour? Oh my god, that looks really, really, really fast. Alright, well apparently that's my dad. I didn't recognize him at first because I've seen him so infrequently throughout the game. But, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Okay. Hmm. So I need to get him to go to the cemetery. How do I do that?
I've really done it this time. How the hell am I gonna get out of this? How am I gonna get him to come with me, willing and no? Well, willing would be preferable, but how could I possibly unwillingly get him to come with me? I'm in cuffs. We're still on the back roads. The highway is another few miles away. If I'm gonna get out of here or convince him to let me go, I need to do it before then. Okay, okay. Well, obviously talk to him is a good thing. Why do I have a Caltra? Oh. Can I... Could I toss... I guess I could toss that under the tire? Maybe if I could get the window open. And if I had very good aim. Pop the tire. It's very sharp. I could also throw it at his neck. But I don't think that would help anything. Hmm. 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 Alright, let's just talk to him. McAdams. What? Ah, <laughs> car sick. I need to throw up out the window. Hmm. Alright, well, let's just try to convince him first. Yeah, right. He's not gonna listen to a word I have to say as long as he's in control of this situation. I need to get out of these cuffs and into that driver's seat. Somehow. Okay, let's go badass mode. I'm carsick. Please open the window. <laughs> Can we stop for a minute? I'm getting carsick. I wasn't born yesterday, Reed. Suck it up. Jerk. I also wasn't born deaf. <laughs> or blind. <laughs> Oh, that was great. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Um, hmm. Why are there two windows noted here? We're still on the back roads. The high. <sighs> McAdams locked the windows. Only he can roll it down. <sighs> How do I convince him to open the window? Maybe I should throw a caltrop at the back of his neck. Hmm. McAdams. What? Please. It's stuffy in here. Mind rolling the window down? Your cologne's killing me here. Fine. Ah. <sighs> okay. Here we go. One pop to tire coming up. What are you doing? Trying to stretch. You might not know this, but sitting in a car in cuffs, not very comfortable. Hmm. I need some noise in here. Alright, I need to distract him. Turn on the radio, why don't you? That could help distract McAdams. If only I could get it turned on. McAdams. What? Fine, you win the quiet game. Turn on the radio, at least. Your comfort is not my concern at this point. Why don't we talk about what you did to Cordelia Smith, then? You want to discuss that? Because I could spend the whole ride talking about it. Fine. Radio it is. Excellent. Okay, here we go. One pop tire coming up. What the fuck was that? I do not need this right now. Excellent. What are you? Stop! Believe it or not, I really am sorry. But I don't have time for this. Just a little strangulation, he'll be fine. Well, are the tables have turned. Insane, Reed? Let me out of these cuffs now! I can't do that, McAdams. Kane is out there, and if I don't bring you to her, he's going to kill my father. What the hell are you talking about? McAdams, I... Save it. I have no interest in anything you have to say at this point, Reed. You attacked a federal agent, and now you handcuff your supervisor? How the fuck do you think this is going to end? Hmm. It didn't need to go down like this, or I didn't want it to go down like this. Well, obviously I didn't want it to go down like this. I didn't need to. 
In what way could this have been averted? I mean, a bunch of things could have happened. I don't know. I didn't want it. I didn't want it to go down like this. I didn't want it to go down like this, McAdams. If you'd just trusted me, if you'd ever trust anyone, we wouldn't even be in this situation. That's what your problem is. What are you talking about? You haven't trusted me since Scott was kidnapped, if ever. But if you'd actually given Cordelia Smith a chance, a lot of people might still be alive today. Reed, goddammit. it! Anyone that pulls half the shit you've pulled over these years would have been fired on the spot. You still had your job because Davies and I knew you were a good agent. My job requires me to do things by the book. You don't like the book. I get that. But what I've done, I've done to protect you. And your life will be much easier the minute that you understand that I'm not your enemy. What do you know about Cordelia Smith? I know the truth. I know what you did. Ignored her, arrested her, the cover-up, all of it. You refuse to stop living in the past, Reed. Mistakes happen. They may be tragic, but there's no going back. Hmm. You're right. You're right. There's no changing the past or bringing back the people you've lost or wronged. The best anyone can do is learn from it. If it happened again today, I'd do things differently. I'm sorry for what happened to that woman, but there's nothing I can do about it now. For your own sake, you have to stop making it personal, Erica. You made it personal with Jetta. You did your best to protect her, and I appreciate that. But understand that if I had made it personal, I would never have put her in such risk. I couldn't let my feelings for her get in the way. You couldn't understand. You don't have a family, Sam. And that's probably the reason why, Erica. Look, I'm just asking you to listen. I'm not crazy. Kane is back out there, and he will kill my father if I don't hurry. And what makes you so certain of any of that? The man's been a ghost for three years now. Are you sure this isn't your feelings clouding your judgment once again? Well, no, it's obviously not. Still can't just take my word for it? I know Kane's profile better than anyone, you know that! And you still won't believe me! With the way you've been acting? You shot John! That was an accident. You're FBI. Your job doesn't allow for accidents. I tried to tell you to back off and you refused. You kept information from me then and you are doing it now. Trust goes both ways, Reed. Fine. Cordelia Smith is the one behind every killing, and the Kane killer is her brother Keith Smith, a.k.a. Jeff Therian. You're just pulling my leg now. I'm not, but you're coming with me whether you want to or not. Keith Smith has been missing and presumed dead for six years. What a better way to get away with murder. He forced Cordelia to kill Max after learning he wasn't their biological brother. She took the blame, and he was free to disappear and keep killing. Think about it, McAdams. He fits the profile. Caucasian male, 25 to 45, highly intelligent, obsessed with his work, plenty of reasons to be hung up on close sibling relationships. Shit. Then where the hell has he been for the last three years? Chained up in the basement of the Enthon Towers. What? So what's it gonna be? Fine. If it'll bring them in and save your father, You've got my help. I have to warn you, Cordelia wants you dead. I can take care of myself. How do you know where the hell you're heading? Cordelia told me. You just told me this woman is a murderer. And she's also a victim of your negligence. Are you justifying her, Reed? No, McAdams. I know what my job is. I'm just saying that sometimes things aren't as black and white as I wish they were. Not even in that book of yours. Well, I certainly hope he can protect himself, because she really, really wants him dead. You came. I told you I'd help. You brought him. What do you want with him? That is between him and me. Don't we have something better to do than chat about this? You're right. Let's go. We're wasting time. Back where it all started. The first episode. So we're working with a killer now, Reed. Is that your big plan? Listen, 
She brought me here. I feel I can trust her intentions. He's down there. If we want to save your father, we'll have to play his game. We'll have to let him capture us. Otherwise, the outcome... I can't see it ending well. How is that a good plan at all? We'll have a chance. I see these sorts of things, remember? You have to trust me. Get me the fuck out of here! You'll betray me! You've seen that one too? I told you, the future is a fickle thing. I do want to help you, Erica, but I am who I am. I make no promises about what happens down there. The same. I can't promise what I'll do after my father is safe. Are you ready? Will you keep my father safe? I'll handle Kane. You're too invested in this, Erica. I'll do my job, McAdams. But I know Kane better than you do. Fine. But I'll be there if you screw up. Oh god, I can already tell that this torture dungeon is going to be Dad! filled with very hard to make decisions. He's alive, still. Why do you have to bring a full party? It makes things more... difficult. <laughs> Let him go, you bastard! Didn't you get enough with Scott? No. I've been waiting too long to finish this. And it has to be done right. Cordelia, would you tie Erica to this? And if you try anything, I will shoot someone! And that might be you. Apologies, Agent. Well, I guess he couldn't take care of himself. Because <laughs> he just got knocked out. Make sure those are tight. Did you take her weapon? Yes. And his? You don't need to worry about him. He's my problem. Then take care of him. Stand over there where I can see you both. You wanted to copy me eventually, Cordelia. Isn't that right? Kill me? The same I kill? I never wanted to kill you, Keith. No. You just made me wish I was dead. The Cordelia I loved, she would never be so cruel. You changed everything when you made me kill Max. And we're here now and can't even talk the way we used to. That connection only you and I had. I don't want you dead, but for this to stop, you have to die. It's a mystery to me what goes on in your beautiful brain sometimes, but I have a theory. What will you do after I'm dead? I never mourned over Max's death, but... But you do have a conscience, Cordelia, and you've been suppressing it so you could act freely. But when it wakes up, when moms and dads and Max's memory awaken you, there won't be a swift death that will allow your brain to cope with what you've done to get here. Your domino effect failed, just as I knew it would. Agent Reed never killed me. And so, who will kill me now, sister? It won't be you. We both know that your conscience wouldn't let you. Exactly my thoughts. And Erica Reed. I've learned so much about you over the years. Now we finally get to be properly introduced. I'm curious to know how much pain you can endure. As I push this lever, this spike will move towards you. If you scream, if you do so much as whisper, I will press this at full speed in the other direction, over to your father. It will kill him. Instantly. What do you get from all this? It's a subject that's always interested me, these human connections of love and family. Because the only time I felt a connection to her, she preferred someone else. So, shall we begin the experiment? Okay, this isn't going to be good. Um, I think I should probably save it here. <laughs> yeah, let's save it. No, I'm not going to talk to him. That is going to instantly kill my father. He's still unconscious, isn't he? Uh, did she actually take his weapon? Use the, use the gun now, McAdams. Cordelia said she took the weapon, but I don't think she did. Hmm, can I see what her plan is? I, no, I can't switch to her. 
Cognition. Nope, no good. Hmm. This doesn't look good. Nope. <laughs> I can I can punch him or I guess kick him maybe or wait. How but how could I do that? I'm chained. That wouldn't work. I have to find a way to stop him. Well, talking to him is pointless. Hmm. Talk to the cane killer. Well, none of these are going to be effective. If you let me go, you'll get out if you're alive. No, you won't. Okay, let's make him think that I've been betrayed by Cordelia, even though I don't quite believe I have. Cordelia, I knew you'd betray me! I said silence! I'll let this one pass. Do it again, and it's over for your father. Okay, that didn't work. Hmm. <laughs> what can I do? These are pointless. Please don't hurt my father. Yeah, like he cares. Talking to Brian Reed is pointless because he is chained up. I... I could do this, but I'm pretty sure that can't possibly work in any way because I'm chained up to the wall. What's her plan? She didn't tell me, unfortunately. So I think I'm just gonna have to kind of... trial and error this. I think Cordelia is my best bet. I mean, McAdams is on the ground, probably unconscious. Hmm. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> That's it, Cordelia. Do it. I don't know what it is, but let's see what happens. I have a feeling I'm about to die, or my father's about to die. That's it, Cordelia. Do it! I was very clear about it. <laughs> oh, God. Your choice. Yep. No! If I'm gonna say something, I'd better make it count. Yep. Let's try that again. All right, so he gives me one freebie, hmm? McAdams? This is weird that I just have to use trial and error and I can't really use any sort of logic as far as I can tell. Hey, do you think McAdams could maybe kick over this, uh, these candles and <laughs> start a fire down here again? <laughs> that would be really funny. Okay, do it now or use the gun. I don't even know if he has a gun. Do it, quickly. Adams, quickly the gun! I said silence! I'll let this one pass. Do it again, and it's over for Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do? Alright, fine, let's try this. <sighs> oh, damn it! Well. Your choice. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, I'm just gonna watch my father no. die over and over again. Um, until I finally get this right. This is weird. Not a good idea. No kidding. Not a good idea when he's watching me, okay? Well, can I get him to look somewhere else? I mean, how would I do that? Maybe if I can get my father's attention, he'll say something and Keith will turn around? <laughs> dad, do it now. Do what? <laughs> Please, Dad, wake up! I said silence! I'll let this one... Ah. Well, I, I think I'm screwed if I mess up the first one, right? Cordelia, please help me! And... I was very... Dead. Again. Your choice. No! They really did go crazy with the fail states. If I'm gonna say so. Oh, 
Okay, possible plan. I can't use cognition, right? No. I mean, I can't, like, call someone while my hands are tied up, right? <laughs> I mean, I could, like... I just had the thought, maybe I could call his phone, and he would hear it ring, and Keith would turn around. But how could I possibly call him? I don't have my hands. It's not gonna be that easy. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Let me just make a note here. Okay. Right. McAdams quickly do it now, does nothing. All three of these do nothing. Trying to goad him, I don't think would do anything. Please don't hurt my father. Please don't hurt my father. I said silence. No. All right, Dad, do it now. You have a plan, right? Dad, do it now. Okay, that actually worked. Uh, now what? Yes, yes, McAdams is waking up. McAdams, are you okay? We have to go after him. Cordelia, what are you doing? I... He let Max die. Oh my god, Cordelia. <sighs> the obvious thing is no Cordelia, your brother killed Max. Something tells me that's not a good angle though, because she already knows that. Yes he did, but he couldn't have known. Let's go with that. He's not a scion, Cordelia, okay? Yes, he did, but he couldn't have known. Okay, that didn't work. And that's why he deserves this. I can't change what happened, Miss Smith. But killing me won't bring your brother back. You could have done more. He could have, and he didn't do his job, but he's a good agent. Oh, wait. He didn't do his job, but he's a good agent. Um, that's not very convincing. He sucked, but, you know, he's good. Hmm. It wasn't his case. He could, but you have to understand, it wasn't even his case. So that's how you see our lives? As a case? No wonder you failed. Look, he didn't do his job, but he's a good agent, and he has helped a lot of people. If you kill him, you'll just be taking away someone else's chance to find closure and peace. But I want the closure. I want peace. Okay, I'm not doing very good at this. Does she even have a conscience left after all of this? I don't even know. You want peace, then let's find and kill... Uh, no, she wouldn't go with that. She doesn't want to kill Keith, and I don't want to kill Keith. Listen to your conscience. Listen to what your brother told you. Listen to your fucking conscience. I... I can't. Well, at least you let me go. McAdams, are you hurt? I'll live. Stay with my dad. I'm gonna catch Kane. Catch her, too. Well, I totally messed up trying to convince her to not shoot uh, McAdams, but I still managed to do it anyway. You're not getting away this time. You think I didn't search these tunnels a hundred times already, trying to find you? How can he just vanish without a trace? We've been searching this place forever, Red. I think we've reached the dead end here. Hey, listen, kid. 
You're exhausted. You haven't slept in days. I can't give up, John. I have to find whoever did this. We'll keep searching, Erica. We'll find him. But let's go home tonight. You need some rest, kid. Ah! Son of a bitch. Erica! Erica, wake up, please! Don't get me the fuck out of here! I'm trying! Where's Kane? I don't know. I promise I don't know. I'm trying to help you. We have to get you out of there before the fire consumes everything. I need to enter a code to free you, but I can only see part of it here. I need you to look at the valve on the side of the platform. Keith probably entered the code there. I can't see it! Use your power! I can't reach it! Right. Okay, let me figure this out. Oh god, another one of these. Okay, hold on. Oh god, I can't even save. What the hell? Wait, going to the menu doesn't pause it? Holy shit. I was gonna go to the bathroom. Okay, I guess I will hold it in. Uh, shit. <laughs> uh, is that gonna stab me really soon? I can reach it. Is that gonna stab me? I feel like it's gonna stab me. <sighs> yeah, I can't reach it. Shit, I can't switch to Cordelia either, so I need to do something. Lever left, lever... <laughs> <laughs> lever left, lever right. Chain lock. Okay, undoing the chain lock would be good because it might allow me to touch something. Right? It won't engage. Maybe it depends on the way Erica is balanced in the trap. Okay, so this is Cordelia's perspective. Right? And, okay. Uh, can I... Okay, maybe this will change the balance? Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna do this, I hope- oh god! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um... It chain lock. Engage. Okay, mm. I can't raise one platform when another's already up. Okay, what if I do this? What's that gonna do to the- Nothing. It, it must be broken. Oh, shit. Alright, what does this do? Oh no, no, it no, no. The position. Okay, then what if I do this? Okay. And chain lock? It locks the crane's rotation. It's locked. So I can move her closer, but then she's gonna get stabbed. Um. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, I'm safe here. I'm safe here for now. Hold on. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, go. This is a bad idea. I'm about to get stabbed. Do I need to go over further, or...? It won't move farther in that direction. Okay, go back, go back, go back. Oh! How do I... Oh, I need my hands. I need to flip around, don't I? Okay, chain lock, undo. It locks the crane's rotation. It's loose. Okay. Let it come down. Flip over. Now, this... Nothing. It Shit, that one's broken. That's right. Go back, go back, go back. Alright, this one. Look over that way. Lock it. 
Go back down. All right, need her hands to it. Need her hands to it. Okay, wait for her to come down. And then this is going to be my moment. And go. I need to know the numbers, Erica. Act fast. I'm going fast, trust me. Do it. Okay, okay. I can't reach it. Pull me back. Pull me back now. Oh, I loosened it. I should be able to reach it now. Ready? Okay, here we go then. If she says she's ready. Please don't get stabbed. Erica, hurry up! I'm trying, damn it! You don't have much time. Just shut up and let me do this! I'm pulling you back. No, wait, I almost... Got it! It's seven, five, three. Now pull me back! Okay, pull her back right now. Fuck, that was close. Hang on. Oh, it actually worked. Erica! Keith, stop it! What the hell is this? I... what? I get to choose how to fight him? I waited too long. Block. Mm. This is interesting. Okay, uh, face. Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? Fist, arm, fist. Block. Mm. Fuck you, Keith. Fuck you. Arm. Block. Mm. I think I'm winning. I keep grabbing his face. Grab his fist again. Block. I could just keep punching him like this infinitely, it seems. <laughs> Are we just gonna go in a circle? I, I mean, he's gotta die at some point, right? Or be knocked out. I just grab his head. There we go. Oh, God. Block. Yeah. Oh, shit, I waited too long. Okay, gotta be fast. Block. Okay, okay. Come on, you bastard. Yep, yep, and toes. Get him off balance. Okay. Knees. Yeah, fuck you. And in the finish him. And you were right about my conscience, Keith. Good job back there, Reed. I'll drop any charges against you. But this time, I can't shield you from internal affairs. You'll have to speak to them before coming back. I know I'll have to deal with them still, but... I'm not coming back. Did this break you? I've done some thinking, and I'm not cut out for this job. I've butted heads with the Bureau too many times to keep ignoring it. And it's too much of a reminder of my worst mistake. 
I shot John. Learn from it, but don't dwell on it. I can't say that I'll miss you, but I meant what I said before. I was never your enemy. I know. I don't hold it against you. Stay out of trouble, Reed. Of course I won't. You finally caught him. Now what? I don't know, Dad. I'm just glad that it's over. I thought I'd lost you, too. You were here, but for a while now, you've been even further away than Scotty. And I've been no better. Dad, there are a lot of things you don't know about me. You're right. For how close we used to be, we've practically been strangers since that night. I think we tried to cope with his death in our own separate ways, but we've never really tried together. I'd like to change that. I think it would make Scotty happy. I think it would too. Goodbye, Scotty. I think I owe you this. I heard you're leaving the force. So who's gonna bring me donuts now? I hear Sully knows a great place. Shouldn't you be in the hospital? Hey, my mama said... What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah, something like that. Look, I'm sorry, kiddo. I really am. I guess we're even now. I don't blame you, John. Cordelia's power made her crazy. She was tortured over the things she saw, over her loss. I don't want to be that person. And I felt so close to the edge so many times. So is that what you're doing? Trying to get it under control? Maybe. For now, I just want to spend some time with my dad. And then, who knows? Rose told me that there are others out there like me, other Scions. If I can do anything to help those people, I must. Cordelia could have been saved. She didn't need to go down that path. I'm gonna miss you, Skippy. I'm sure you can find another rookie to train. I'm not exactly the best role model out there, Erica. You were the only person that tried to help Cordelia at all. You believed in me because of what happened with her. That says something. And besides, the only reason I'm the best is that you trained me. Goodbye, John. Alright, that is the end of episode 4. And the end music is still awesome. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's see, where to begin? Well... John is dead. Erica had a very, very distant relationship with her father ever since Scotty died, but it looks like that might actually change now. She's decided to leave the Force, and Cordelia and Keith are both dead. And now, now that she knows there are other Scions out there, she can help them. What'd she say? Um, she'll be, like, she'll be an angel amongst those like us or something like that? Yeah. So even though this is the end of, I think, I think it's called the end of this season of Cognition, but as you can see, this, the storyline leaves it wide, wide open for many, many future stories. It could go so many places from here, which is awesome. I hope it continues.
I really, really hope it continues. <sighs> it always feels so depressing when I finish something that I like so much. Even though it might not necessarily, and probably won't, be the actual end of it, but it is the end of it for the foreseeable future. <sighs> okay, so let me wrap up the series as a whole, not just this episode, but the whole series. And as always, I'm going to start with the things I didn't like, so I can end with the stuff that I did. Okay. So, throughout all four episodes, this game pretty much suffers from the same problems. Like, I feel like all of the episodes have basically the same level of quality, overall. Like, there isn't really much of a difference between them, design-wise, or anything like that. Which makes sense, because it's episodic and they're all part of the same... I don't know, production cycle or whatever you'd call it. So it makes sense that they all be very similar, design-wise. So, here's what I didn't like. Okay, this game... This series has a lot of... issues with it. It has... very weird and buggy animations. It's also just kind of buggy in general, with weird stuff happening. Very special thanks to all of our Kickstarter and PayPal backers, the best backers in the whole world. Without you, this would never have been possible. We did it. Thank you, everyone, who helped support the game, I guess. I didn't actually... didn't even remember or know that it had a Kickstarter. That must have been before I even paid attention to Kickstarter, actually. Hmm. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, it has very janky animations. It's very buggy overall. Um, some of the voice acting is a little bit iffy. Um, thankfully, the main characters are very good. Whoever voice acts... Erica Reed is very good. John, very good. McAdams is okay. Cordelia is okay. Keith was pre Keith was pretty weak, his voice actor, honestly. G to the point of actually being humorous occasionally, which is... When you hear a serial killer speak, you shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> that kind of takes away from the disturbingness of them being a serial killer. I actually laughed at one point because of something he said. When you first came into the tomb... In this episode, episode 4, and he said, like, Did you have to bring a whole party? Or something like that. <laughs> something about that just sounded humorous. So, yeah. Um, and thankfully, the main character's very good. And some of the other major characters are pretty good. But overall, the voice acting is... Um, it's varied. Some of it's really very good. Some of it's okay. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the graphics are... Eh, the graphics are mediocre. They're serviceable. They're good enough. But they're not great. Um, the backgrounds are really good. I'm, I'm thinking more of the characters. The character models are just kind of weird looking and they have kind of bad lighting and they're very low resolution. The backgrounds are really, really good though. The music is exceptional. Um, it has a lot of weird adventure, the typical weird adventure game kind of ridiculous puzzle problem. Which has got really ridiculous puzzles. Yeah, I'm not going to go into more detail about that, but yeah, it has a lot of ridiculous adventure game puzzles. Let's just leave it at that. The, even, um, the UI is very cumbersome to use. You have to make a lot of clicks to do anything. So, in other words, it has problems throughout, you know? It's got some spotty voice acting, it's got a lot of weird animations, the character models don't look all that good. It's kind of buggy. It's kind of very buggy. Um, got some bad puzzles, in some cases, and a bunch of other things. So yeah, it has a lot of problems. However, thankfully, none of those are major problems. They're moderate to minor, overall. And, ooh, let's see if, is there going to be, like, a, normally there's a next on, but there is no next yet, right? Let's see what happens. Okay, I didn't think so. Thank you for playing Cognition and Erica Reed Thriller. Yep. Okay, yeah, it just takes you to the menu. Alright, um... So it has it has very, very many problems, but they all range from moderate to minor. Now, here's what this game does very, very well. The most important part about it, and the reason I liked it so much and still love it, even despite all those problems, is because it has a very good story and very interesting characters. And it's that core that is very well done. 
It's very well written in general. There, there are some weird little things that are kind of implausible and strange, but overall, it's very well written. And the characters are very interesting and well realized, and they have actual depth to them. Characters with depth are not something you get in a lot of anything. Games, movies, books, or whatever. And this game has that in spades. It has one of the most complicated and interesting stories I've ever seen in a game. I mean, just think of all that I unraveled over four episodes. The insanity of it. All the details and all of the different levels of serial killers and powers and scions and conspiracies and whatever. I don't even know if I encountered any conspiracies, did I? I'm not sure. There's just so much to it, and it all comes together. It's, it's all a cohesive whole. It's not just like random stuff just thrown together. It all is seriously part of a, a single story. They're all just pieces of a puzzle. So it's that core that they get very good. And like I said, the main, uh, some very good voice acting, especially from the main character. Some very good music. Very good background art. So yeah, I think that about sums it up. It's a very flawed series, but it's also a very good series that I highly recommend. Um, oh no, there's another thing. Okay, there are some very good puzzles, by the way. It's not like all the puzzles were just ridiculous adventure game absurd puzzles. Some of them were very good, like that... I remember back in... Um, I think it was the end of last episode, wasn't it? Episode 3? Or was it episode 2? Might have been episode 2. I'm not sure. One of the previous two episodes... We had that insane dash to find out. Um, you needed to answer questions about about people to save Sully, who was going to be killed if you couldn't answer the questions properly. And to answer the questions, you had to look at these jars of like eyeballs and tongues and stuff, and use your powers to look into the victims and what happened to them to answer the questions. Like that is that is seriously one of the most brilliant puzzles I've ever seen in an adventure game. It was just, it was tense, it was insane, I've never done anything like that before. It was great. That was awesome. And then just more recently in this episode, there's two really interesting puzzles. One is the, um, once again, you have like a sort of timed mad dash to save yourself, in this case, from the trap. That was very well done. That was really, it was really tense and it was illogical, it wasn't ridiculous. It made sense. So that was a really good puzzle. Having to get yourself on your side so that your hands would be towards the control panel and then lock the chain in place and then move it over there when the spike isn't coming down and then trying to touch it to get the password to share with Cordelia who enters it from the outside. That's really cool. Just a very interesting, very tense and just, yeah, a good puzzle. A really good puzzle. Another interesting puzzle is the whole fighting Keith thing which took me by surprise because I had no idea... I've never seen anything like that in an adventure game before so I didn't expect it. It essentially was like a I don't know, it's like a hotspot puzzle sort of thing, you know? Where you're presented with a screen, and there are different hotspots that you can click on. But since you're fighting someone, they do different things, like block the hand or punch the face, and stuff like that. I never even considered doing a fight in an adventure game using hotspots on a still image. But I actually think it's kind of brilliant. That actually worked really well. That was very cool. It kind of blew my mind using hotspots on a still image to do a fight. That was really cool. That was very inventive. Never seen that before in an adventure game ever. So yes, even though there are some very ridiculous puzzles, there's also some very good and very inventive puzzles. So add that to the list of things that are good about this game. Okay, that's about it. Again, very flawed series, but also very good. And it's good in probably the most important way in this case, since it is an adventure game. It's good in the stories and the characters, which are, I, I guess I would say, probably always at the heart of a good adventure game, right? The story and the characters. I mean, if you didn't have that, it would just be a puzzle game, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Alright. So a couple other things to say is... The release of Episode 4 heralds in the release of the Cognition series, the whole Cognition series on, uh, series on Steam and GOG. I think those are the only two 
platforms that it was released on other than their own store, of course. So GOG and Steam, which means that Cognition is going to be brought to a much larger audience, which will likely result in much much larger amount of uh, a much larger player base, more attention, and hopefully more money. Actually, pretty much definitely more money for Phoenix Online Studios, which they well deserve. So I'm really excited that they managed to get on Steam and GOG, so they're actually getting out there more. I know I've heard sometimes that adventure games are dead. I don't know if anyone's saying that anymore, but I know that's something people s kind of said. But that's bullshit. They're not. And they shouldn't be. And here's an extraordinarily good adventure game series right here. And now it's being brought to a wider audience. So that's very cool. I wish them the best of luck. I hope they achieve some good financial success with this. That leaves them in a good position to make more games. Hopefully they make more cognition. Or even anything else. I'm sure anything they'd make would be good. So yes, I'm very, I'm very much looking forward to see uh, to seeing what Phoenix Online Studios makes next. I think that's about it. There's a wrap-up of the game. There's a wrap-up of how Phoenix Online Studios is doing in cognition when it comes to distribution platforms and future success and etc. I think that's it. I think that's it. I, I'm having a hard time pressing stop recording because, again, I feel... I always feel kind of sad any time I finish anything I like. Um, there might be alternative endings to this game. Maybe? I'll look it up. Like, what if you just pissed off Cordelia? Maybe she would do something different. I don't know. I could look that up, so there is a possibility of me coming back and doing something... Uh, showing an alternative ending or something, maybe, if such a thing exists, and if it's major enough to warrant me going back to do it. I don't know. I'll, I'll check that out. All right, I think this is actually it. Okay, so I hope everyone has enjoyed the season finale to the Cognition series. I wish I could say I'd be back soon, but I probably won't, at least not with anything Cognition-y anytime soon. I really don't want to stop recording. <sighs> okay, okay, I need to stop. Hope everyone has enjoyed. Goodbye.